Robert, in your report out today, you say the headlines from this week were more political than economic. And with these trade tensions that we're having, what is the level of uncertainty out there? Hi, Susan. I think the uh, Trump administration has taken a very aggressive stance on trade policy. And obviously, with the president uh, in Europe this week, talking to NATO, talking uh, to leaders in the UK, and then off to talk to leaders in Russia. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of attention right now uh, being focused on the Trump administration and their approach to trade policy. And I think that we can say that while uncertainty has increased about that, uh, when we look at the actual economic metrics, we don't see much evidence yet of, of any kind of negative effects so far. Individual companies are going to be feeling some heat. They obviously are already with higher prices on aluminum, steel, uh, other imports, but the economy as a whole seems to be functioning very well uh, up to the recent data that we're seeing. Producer price index information is out as well as consumer price index. So what can you tell us about how those ended up for June? Yeah, the, the PPI, producer price index, is looking a little hot. Year-over-year uh, -year price gains for the headline index, producer prices for final demand up 3.4%. So that's meaningful upstream price pressure. And again, going back to the tariffs, the first round of tariffs was really focused upstream. Now, consumer prices, like I said, are not feeling as much heat. They are up, but not nearly as much. And, and, and so I think right now the consumer is shielded from the tariffs. But as we go, if they broaden uh, in scope, as, as they persist over time, we'll start to see more pressure on the consumer side of things. Moving on to import prices, we saw import prices fall despite the tariffs. So how do you explain that? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a reminder to us that things are not necessarily linear and operating in lockstep, that we did see import prices falling a few tenths, and, and those were not just energy prices. We knew energy was backing off in June, but other import prices eased as well. So this is a very complex picture. And what I'm trying to say is, uh, is very nuanced. And we don't want to think that, that because we're, we're reading a lot about these tariffs that all prices are going up across the board everywhere. That's simply not true. But again, the longer they're in place, the broader the application, then we're going to start to see more and more price pressure over time.